Alright, so for this problem, uh, this is the setup of the problem here. Uh, we got our two coils, uh, 20 centimeters apart from each other, uh, with different amounts of turns. So what we're going to do first is uh, set up the equations, um, the equation to figure out the total EMF, um, the total EMF across um, coil 2. So for B1 at the location of coil 2, so that's the magnetic field created by uh, this coil at uh, coil 2. So that we can use the approximation for a magnetic field and that gives us N1 because that's the uh, the number of turns uh, times mu naught over 4 pi times 2 i1 pi r1 squared over z cubed. And we use that because uh, z is greater than, uh, much greater than the radius of the coils. So now that we have that, uh, the flux, we need to find the flux through one loop of coil 2. So magnetic flux is equal to the integral of B dot dA. Um, so B is constant. The area is, uh, it's a circle. It's a coil. So pi r2 squared. And we can't ignore the cosine of theta for this one because the coil is at a 35 degree angle. So that's a little different than a lot of ones where we typically work. So then we can plug in uh, plug in the equation here for B, and it'll give us uh, n one times mu naught over four pi times uh, two i one pi r one squared uh, over z cubed times pi r two squared cosine of theta. So now that we have that, we need to find the EMF around uh, one loop for coil two. Uh, we know that EMF is equal to the change in magnetic flux over the change in time, and that'll be um, approximately. Uh, it'll be the same thing. It'll be the same thing that we found here, that equation, uh, and then we multiply by di1 over dt, so the change in current over the change in time. So uh, the total EMF for coil 2, uh, all we need to do is multiply by that n2, so that's how many turns are on this coil here and we'll get N2 times that whole equation there just bring that on down and now we can plug in our variables um, so we plugged in all our variables here everything looks good and we should get that the total EMF across um, coil 2 to be 10.9 volts now It'd probably be a good idea to check the units since that's a, a lot of terms there. So we have Tesla uh, times meters over amps. We have meter squared, meter squared, and we have amps over meters cubed and seconds. So we can combine like terms and we can cancel out those amps and that gives us teslas times meters to the fifth over meters cubed times seconds and cancel that out simplify some more tesla meters squared over seconds now tesla is equal to volts times seconds times uh, meters uh, to the negative two, so those will cancel, those will cancel, 
So we just get volts, and it's EMF, so we should get volts. So that checks out. And that's the problem.